The truth is it's not going to be good for health. It's not going to be good for health at all um, because there's one thing that we know about health more than anything else and that we know that health is very strongly related to socioeconomic status. Uh, and the poor always do worse than the rich in terms of health. And to the extent that people who once had the uh, possibility of coming out of poverty will not be because of this global crisis. If you asked me, will it mutate and become more serious? Probably not, but it could happen. Um, most people don't realize that, that the greatest in killer uh, from influenza uh, was the Spanish flu of 1918. And the Spanish flu killed more than 50 million people in a much smaller world, so it, it, it devastated the earth. But what they don't understand is, is that during the first wave of the Spanish flu, it was relatively benign, like H1N1 is, but it mutated. And the second wave, it became more serious. What we're learning is, is that you don't. They control you. Uh, swine flu is the very first test of the new World Health Organization international health regulations. The, uh, the world community just passed this major treaty, um, uh, and this is the first test of it. Uh, so how have we done? Um, not particularly well, actually. The, the World Health Organization has made a number of recommendations, and it's been largely ignored. Um, WHO has not had the power, the resources that it needs to. Um, and so it's made recommendations not to have travel restrictions, but they've been slapped on, not to have trade bans, but it's been slapped on, not to have mass quarantines, but that's happened in Asia and Latin America and other places. Um, and so um, we're seeing kind of a systematic um, ignoring of WHO authority, um, even under the new international health regulations. And that, that can be uh, somewhat worrying. Uh, and we're also um, quite cognizant of the fact that having the capacity for surveillance in places like Mexico and Asia, and if it ever gets to Africa, Africa, um, will be very important because it could be spreading and we don't even know it. Well, global climate change is a huge health issue. There's no question about it. Um, but not in the sense of what we've been talking in terms of a, a rapidly transmissible uh, novel infectious disease, uh, just in terms of uh, uh, water scarcity uh, and food scarcity uh, and, and natural disasters. These are the areas where climate change could have catastrophic effects on human health, and we need to do a lot more about it. The, the, the international community is focusing on climate change as purely an environmental issue, and it's not, and it can't be. It's going to have enormous effects on the health of the global population.